housed in an old warehouse in the French village of Tournu, sits the amazing bicycle museum, Musée de Vélo. The museum came from the collection of a local man, Michael Grisard, who worked as a young butcher in the town. He always had an interest in bicycles, and while in his 20s in the 1960s, he discovered a high-wheeler in his family attic and decided to start a collection. He wrote, I pursued vintage bicycles in newspapers and tracked down bicycle stores that were closing or had closed. I even ransacked attics in search of old sketches. In 1997, at age 57, Michel retired from being a butcher and opened his bicycle museum. At that time, it was the largest space in the country of France dedicated exclusively to bicycles. He and his wife ran the museum for 10 years until their funding ran out. In 2007, the museum closed while Michel looked for more funding, finally obtaining grants from the city of Tournu and also from the National Bicycle Lovers Association. With these, he bought an old starch warehouse, an amazing castle-like structure that ideally fits the historic motif. In June 2010, the new museum opened, unfortunately, just a few months after Michelle's death at age 70. The first known bicycle was built in 1817 by the German Baron Karl van Dres, and it operated without pedals. The rider balanced on the center bar and propelled himself forward with his feet. This contraction allowed a man to travel at about 9 miles an hour, or roughly three times the normal walking speed and twice the normal running speed. Besides bicycles, the museum displays nearly 7,000 bicycle-associated memorabilia. Walls are decorated with Tour de France winning jerseys, a string of water bottles winds across an open space, cases display tax licenses, ancient bike lights, and even wine bottles, each with a drawing of a bicycle or famous cyclist. One case contains a hundred cigars, each with a ring representing a famous bicyclist. There's an all-wooden bicycle built in Cameroon. There are plates with bicycle designs on them. Model bicycles and panoramas representing the Tour de France events find spots in various corners. Famous names came out of the history of bicycle development. A Scottish veterinarian, John Boyd Dunlop, used two layers of rubber to create a pocket of air, inventing the pneumatic inner tube, known as the Dunlop Tire, a company still in existence today. Edward Michelin invented the removable tire to go outside the inner tube. After spending an hour or so touring the museum, it's now time to try out a bike yourself. 
in front of the museum sits a dozen bikes. The visitors walk to the truck, hop on the seat, ring the bell, and pedal around the parking lot for a grand old time. Here we see my several attempts before finally successfully riding the highway. Il va se garer, il a raison.